everyone. As you may have noticed, there is something in the title that we gotta talk about, and that is how I made my toothless upcycled outfit. This outfit was something long in the making. When I bought these pants, I was like, wow, that looks like dragon scales. But lo and behold, after like two or three years of owning them, they definitely got shredded and used and I lost some of the gems and it kind of sucks. And then the pants got thinner. It's time to upcycle that. So. Make sure to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already so you can catch up with more upcycling, DIYs, cosplay, and random stuff that I do. Anyways, let's show you how I got this going. It's not that long. Don't worry, it's pretty fun. First things first, get the pants out that we're going to be cutting up and start removing all of the gems. I'm using this box lid to keep the gems in place so I won't lose any. And thus begins the long, arduous process of removing all the gems. thousand years later. This pair of pants has two layers of fabric in the front, so we are going to be cutting into the first layer of the two layers of fabric. Be careful not to cut the second layer, but it's no biggie if you decide to cut through all layers of fabric, especially if you don't, are, don't have the same exact pants. But we are going to be making small cuts, incisions, and slightly pulling it so it gives a shredded look. Do this all down the leg and repeat on both sides. Wow. This is how it looks when you have all of one leg completed and it has this nice shredded look. Now do it to the other leg. I am using black fleece for my top and I've used this before and fleece is very forgiving and it's very easy to use. I'm using a bodice top from McCall's 586 Three. and I'm using this just as a template. You don't need one and you could use a tank top instead. But uh, here it is. I also used a different pattern for sleeves. Obviously, if you know how to make sleeves, go ahead. But start cutting out your pattern pieces and make sure you have a lot left over for a hood and enough for wings. As you can see, I'm actually not cutting directly as the pattern. It's just for reference because I'm making a crop top. Here you can see that I'm actually making it a high neckline for the hood. I'm going to be repeating the same process for the neckline of the front, and then I'm going to be making the same cuts as the actual shirt pattern so it doesn't inhibit the rest of the outfit. Now the back seam, I'm going to be keeping it high for, for attaching the hood. So we want to go ahead and start assembling the shirt, but do not uh, sew the back seam and make sure you cut out the hood pattern as well. You can use a hood shape from a hoodie. Now make sure you have enough fleece left over so you can cut out the wing design. For the wing design, I'm just simply following pictures of bat wings and Toothless's wings from any references that I can see. I'm slowly marking it multiple times so I get the right shape and that I have a large enough set of wings. Now I'm going to be following an image reference to be cutting out all of Toothless's like appendage head pieces. I don't know what else to call them. These are actually cut from scrap pieces of fleece. That way I don't cut into any extra fabric just in case I mess up. Now with the remaining bits of fabric, I'm cutting out little triangles and then going to be sewing them into the seam of the back and on the hood. Your hood should be attached, but it should not be closed off on the top. So it should be an open hood. And then now use a bunch of triangles and sew it into the seam so that when it comes inverted, it's fine. Now I'm using the rest of my scraps to create polyfill for the head appendages. And this took a little bit of time, but it was very therapeutic to start cutting like crazy. And I wanted to recycle my scraps as much as possible versus buying polyfill. Now begin stuffing your head appendages with your scraps or polyfill. 
I decided to sew my pieces down without inverting them. I wanted them to have a more authentic dragon look and it would give a little bit more shape. Now that all of those are done, I am now pinning the appendages to the hoodie and making cuts where I need to insert them just so that it follows the head shape. And then I will be using the sewing machine to sew them down. At this point, your hoodie should be fully assembled when you finish sewing on the head appendages. So I went back to the wing shape. I couldn't decide if I wanted the wings to come out or open, but ultimately I decided that I wanted them down. So now I'm cutting out the wing shape and giving it a little bit of life. Here you can see I'm cutting out the actual wing bat pattern. I don't know what else to call it. <laughs> but this is what the wing looks like currently. I'm going to hem the top edge and then I'm going to be adding the meat boning kind of veiny stuff with some scrap pieces of fleece. Here you can see the extra strips of fabric that I was talking about for the meat of the wings. These are the veins that go to the points that help him fly. His wings do not just go work on one bone. So here I'm just sewing it down and make sure to flip your wing pattern on the other side so you don't do what I did and sew two identical wings versus one opposite side and one other side. And then attach it to your hoodie on the back. This is what it looks like fully completed and this is just the base. I wanted to make some alterations to my hoodie crop top and that is one, giving more structure to the hood and two, making sure that the ear head appendages weren't so floppy so I gave some reinforcement. Now one eternity later I'm going to be sewing on every single gem from the pants onto the hoodie. Good luck if you're doing this, because this took me a long time. When I was doing this part, I had the idea of doing some on my shoulder, some on the head, and then some on my side on the cropped hoodie. So I think really just have fun and be creative on where you place your own skills if you do decide to do that. Many months later. And without further ado, here is the final finished transformation.
hope you really enjoyed this video. I had a lot of fun making this outfit and it took a lot of time. That's beyond the point. I'm really happy I have this outfit and that I was able to make it from recycled materials. Obviously the materials that I had were a pair of pants that I got a long time ago that was like $40. And then I also had leftover fleece from previous projects from my fashion line, Bunny Over the Moon. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you really enjoyed the outfit, leave me a like and comment down below if you're excited about how to train your dragon three. And I will see you in another video, as long as you're subscribed. Wait, did you subscribe yet? No? Well, go click that button down below or over here. There's like a little flower, like here or something. Yeah, go click it. So you can become a friend.